So here we have the Mitsubishi Outlander Hybrid Automatic on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Uh, let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll notice we have loads of boot space, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, uh, we have uh, the plugs that you can plug in this hybrid uh, car. And there's a video showing how that works on our website and Facebook page. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer. On the left-hand side, we have a combination of the rev counter and a kind of uh, a gauge letting you know whether the uh, hybrid motors are being charged, whether you're driving in eco mode or using the power band, which is the white section. Uh, in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 2,434. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. So you can hit that button, ask it to dial any one in your contacts list, and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. But of course, once you pair the phone up, and I'll show you how that's done in just a moment. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Just behind the steering wheel, you'll see this minus paddle and the plus uh, one on the opposite side. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So uh, you can go back to the home screen and you can see all of the various things that you're able uh, to do on here, uh, including your music. So DAB, FM and AM radio. You can connect up an iPod, a USB input. You can pair your phone here. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once you've paired up your phone. Um, you can uh, make adjustments to the timed air conditioning, look at charging costs, all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, really useful to be able to go to the screen and just swipe across and do any of that. And it's really easy to do, as you can see. On top of that, this car has got a full color reversing camera uh, and you get guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see on the screen. It does make it very easy to park. Underneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. Once you're happy with those settings, that button will turn the air conditioning on or off. You can also hit auto and the car will now take control of the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. To override that, simply readjust the fans to whatever level you want them on. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. We have a USB input. This button will turn on the uh, heated front screen. We have uh, two cup holders there and you'll see the key for the car is there. You don't need to insert the key anywhere or do anything with it to start the engine. You just need to make sure it's in the car. And then you have a button just here to turn the engine on and off. This is the gear lever for the automatic gearbox with a little kind of map to show you what to do. So we're in neutral at the minute. To put it in drive, you would do that, for example. Hold it there to put it back into neutral or reverse, and then back to neutral again. Uh, this button forces the electric mode to come on in the car if uh, the batteries are sort of sufficiently charged. You then have an automatic handbrake with auto, sorry, electronic handbrake with auto hold function. This button will put the uh, car and gearbox into sport mode. You can turn the four wheel drive on from here. And we have driver and passenger heated seats, as you can see. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.